espera, 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 antes que siga hay que mover esto un poco. Listo. Uh -huh. so it looks like here we have the our parents or something. So we are in the Benin, close to the well very close to the Estación Biológica del Beni and we did 4 meter core here and now we put everything more or less in order and first thing we do, we describe the core and we write down the GPS point which is Leo 447 that we take pictures of the core so starting from the fourth meter here we have an organic layer then we have clay then we have another organic layer here still clay till here here we have a change like silt then clay silt silt sandy again clay silt well the top is just the work material so we don't care about it and then when we get the second meter we have a very nice change from sand to clay with organic then it is like clay sealed here it is sandy very sandy and it keeps sandy till more or less here like 95 centimeters and then we have a change to clay again and on the top we reach the the modern soil the organic layer this is the top of the of the profile so basically what we have here is a nice example of river evolutions so probably if we had more heads and we could core more we could have got a paleosol which is the organic surface that maybe it's uh, mid Holocene like 5000 years ago and then we have a change and river a river came here and it was a shifting river doing a lot of evolutions so when the river was close to this point it was depositing sand and when it went away the, the, the position changed so we had clay and when the river was very far we had very little deposition so plants could grow there there like forming like in a wetland like a back swamp and there is where uh, this organic layer, layer form because as this deposition is very slow plants have time to accumulate organic matter so that's why we have these organic layers here which are very interesting because this will allow us to date this shifting so we can actually do C14 of this organic layer and we will have an idea of how long it took all this movement of the river then here on the top we have this clay which is probably the, the, the last phase of the river was far away so here we had this clay deposition but it's interesting is very red all this red mottling is iron oxide and here we have uh, manganese oxide and this really typical of this area because this is a seasonally flooded savanna so every year we have flooding and then during the dry season it gets dried now we are more or less in the beginning of the dry season 
and this uh, change in the water condition, like wet and dry, wet and dry, causes the formation of all this red oxide here. Well, now we will uh, do the sampling of this core. So we will start sampling this layer. Well, we will sample all of the, all the organic layer. So then we can do the C14s and date them. And we will also sample some of these sediments here. And I think that would be enough. <laughs> 